everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Sean um, today I am doing a collaboration with Faye um, her channel is called Faye J um, yeah so we decided to do a challenge where we had to buy an outfit for each other from Boohoo so that's what we've done we've done a we've done a swap for me so I've bought her an outfit, I've sent it off to her and she's sent me um, an outfit too. So I've got the parcel here, tied my dresser. I've got the parcel here, um, it's very heavy, but I'm not sure what's actually in it, but um, I'm really, really excited to be doing this with Faye. Um, if you're new here, just, just a bit of information about me. So I started this channel back in January 2021. Let me just say as well, if you can hear something, it is my French bulldog behind me. He's just getting comfortable on the sofa and um, he'll probably start snoring. So I do apologise if you can hear it snoring in the background. It is my dog. So, yeah. Are you going to get comfortable there, Rocky? Okay. Good boy. Right, so yeah, anyway, so I started my channel back in January 2021. And um, so back in October 2020, um, my 11-year-old daughter, Isabel, was um, sadly hit and killed by a speeding car. Um, so it's been a year and a half now without my daughter. Here she is in a photo behind me. I thought I would just put her in the video because this is the reason why I've got the channel. It's it's for her. It's it's to it's in memory of Isabel. Uh, she absolutely loved YouTube. She loved making videos. She did have her own channel, but unfortunately, it has been taken down. Um, otherwise, I would I'd tell you to go over and have a look. Um, but she, yeah, she loved watching YouTube, she loved making YouTube videos, um, she loved TikTok as well. So I'll leave her TikTok information if you want to go and check that out in the uh, description box below. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I decided to make um, videos for YouTube in memory of my daughter Isabel. And... Um, it's really helped me. It's it's helped with the grief. It's helped me mentally. Um, I've I've just been really enjoying it. Obviously, I was so nervous when I started it um, at first, but yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying it now. And I've made some lovely friends, um, a couple of YouTuber friends, and also through my subscribers and um, people that view my videos. So, yeah, everyone has been, just been so lovely. Um, it has been really, really hard. Um, I might look, you know, quite happy today, but I do have very, very down days. Um, so I'm basically just videoing my life, um, my new life, without my daughter. I do have a 19-year-old son called Marcus. Um, he turns 20 in July, so feeling pretty old. But anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just tell, you know, the new guys watching this just a bit about me. Um, I do pretty much um, similar videos to Faye. I do like doing hauls, you know, from supermarkets. I do also do like clothing hauls, um, makeup, skincare. I absolutely love doing um, Get Ready With Me. So I just sit on my dressing table and just um, do my makeup and just have a chat. Um, yeah, daily vlogging have also taken you up to see my daughter's grave. I actually call it her forever bed. Um, I do decorate it differently all the time. So yes, I just I just like to share that. And um, she would have absolutely been starstruck at the fact that Faye has so kindly decided to do a collaboration with me. Um, Cause Faye has, I think she has 21,000 followers and um, yeah, Isabel would have absolutely loved that. So I know she's here with me. Um, she's always watching over me. So yeah, 
thank you Faye for doing this with me um, and this is for you Isabel so if you want to watch what Faye has bought me from Boohoo then just continue to watch so I've got some scissors here because it's, it's wrapped up well so I'm just going to open it up with my scissors and then we can have a look. But I'm going to be really careful though so I don't nick anything. Nick? Nip? Nip anything. I think it's nip anything. What am I on about? What are you talking, John? What are you talking? I am a bit of a silly bugger as well. I do swear now and again, so I do apologise for those people that don't like swearing. But just a warning, they do the swear words do pop out now and again. Oh, this is tight. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Right, what have we got? The first thing I can see is a box of milk tray. I do love. A milk tray so ooh, i think my favorite one out of here is the caramel softy delish thank you so much faith for those oh i've also got a cadbury's white creamy white chocolate delicious why just the loads in here another one lovely oh look at this it's a milka dime bar i think they call them dames now but we've always called them dimes here haven't we oh eyelashes some eyelashes with some palmer violets in there how cool are they i'm gonna have to have a go at them because i don't normally do my eyelashes I'm rubbish at them. I've literally only applied eyelashes once and that was on my wedding day and I got fed up with them and ripped them off. But um yeah, oh they come with like the little applicator as well to put them on. So oh they're lovely. Thank you so much. Another chocolate bar. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Oh we've got a card here, look. That. Sean. Let me just pop that down there a minute and I'll open the card. So it just says thank you. Oh, got a little letter in here as well. Hey Sean, just want just want to say thank you so much for this collaboration. I weren't too sure in the oh okay. I'm just gonna close that a minute. And I'm going to open, because I've just seen something on there about the clothing. So, I'm going to read this after. So, let's go back to the little clothing haul that I've got. And then we'll have a look at that after. Um, oh, I've got some glass in here as well. Oh, there we go. So, it's just in Fairy Glen Secrets. Look on that. I don't know if you should put it in this bag or what. I'm just going to put a little bag with stars on it. Sorry about all the rustling. Oh, she's got me some gems. So this looks very similar to one that my um, sister-in-law gave me. And I can't remember what it's called. But she, it was like half the size of this. And she said she put it... Um, somewhere in the in the window so the moon can get it or something but thank you so much that i'm gonna look up what it is because i don't know much about um the what do you call them gemstones oh it's gone i know what they are i do know what they are but um Thank you so much for that. And a little pink stripey bag. Oh my god, are these bath bombs? I was literally going to eat one of them then. <laughs> they look like bonbons. 
Oh my god. They smell so good. I really, really love bath bombs as well. And I always buy them for other people, but I never get them for myself. And I absolutely love them. So thank you so much. Oh, this is right, what have we got? What have we got? Let's get into the good stuff. Oh, I've got a necklace. So this is gold textured mini heart pendant necklace. Oh, that is so cute. I really like that. That is so pretty. Let me, let me see that. How pretty that is. That's lovely. Thank you so much. I love necklaces. I always wear this one, but... I will put this one on as well. And I will show you how it looks. That is gorgeous. Thank you very much. And then we've got... Oh, what's this? I do love purple. And it's floral. Okay. Floral flare sleeve blouse. Oh, it feels really nice as well. Nice and thin. The summer. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. So it's got like a little tie detail here that sort of ruffles up to the neckline. Like a V-neck. And then it's like ruffly and flowy down here. That is so pretty. I would never have picked something like this myself. And look at the sleeves, they're all like flowy as well. That's gorgeous. This is something that my mum would probably pick for me as well. I'm so rubbish for picking my own clothes. I always go for like really boring things. Uh, I need to, to sort my fashion out, guys. And these look like a pair of jeans. Oh my God. No. See, I do like a pair of jeans. I normally live in jeans. I've actually got my um got my leggings on today. Comfort. These are such a nice colour. Oh my god. Look at them. They're crazy. Look at them. What's going on here? That's hilarious. I've never seen a pair of jeans like that. That is so funny. What size are they? UK 16, so should fit around my waist. Um, are they high-waisted ones? Because on my, my actual waist is... Um, quite um, thingy. Quite thingy. What the hell am I on about? Quite. I've, I've got quite a narrow waist. Is it narrow? What the hell? Small. I don't know what I'm on about. They are such a nice colour. They haven't got pockets on the back. But have they got stretch in them? They're quite rigid. But they do look quite big. Now they are quite long. So I might have to turn them up. But they do look like mum jeans. Is it mum jeans? Acid wash double layer mum jeans. So, oh, they are pretty cool. I have never seen a pair of jeans with this on it. That is mad. Crazy. Anyway, they are absolutely lovely. I really want to go and try them on now. So, let, I tell you what, let's read the card first. And then we will go and do a try on for you as well. So, let's get back to it. Hey, Sean. And then she's put um, in brackets, just swapped pens, stopped working. <laughs> she started in black and then she's gone to blue. That happens to me all the time. 
just want to say thank you so much for this collaboration. I weren't too sure on the jeans, the muff area looked a bit dodge. <laughs> but I think it works-ish. I literally live in leggings nowadays, laugh out loud, but my thinking was casual, casual brunch. Yeah, good thinking. Hopefully in the summer we can meet up, have that drink and smash some karaoke like we said. So I did say that I'd go up and see her and there's, um, on the beach near where she lives, they do um, karaoke. They've got like a karaoke set up on the beach. So it's like a stage and stuff and it, it just looked hilarious when I went the last time. I just weren't drunk enough to even do it, but I want to do that. I want to get drunk and get up there. And we did say that we'd sing Come On Eileen. So that is a plan for me. And then she's put, anyway, I also wanted to let you know that I think you are such an incredibly strong person. You're stunning, amazing, and absolutely my kind of person. And despite my terrible texting, I'm always here for you. Honestly, always. Oh, bless you. Keep going. Keep smashing every day. You've absolutely fucking got this. Yes. Love you loads. And I hope this is the start to a long friendship. Absolutely. I've literally just, I've literally just got, um, I've just, oh, just, I've just got chicken box. The hell am I all about? Chicken box. I just got like goose pimples all over me when I've had that done at the end. Cause I just think it's just so lovely. I just, I just can't believe, um, the kindness that I've had through YouTube and, Faye has been so lovely. She, you know, she 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 actually gave me her number so I could text her. We started WhatsApping each other and then we started with the um just normal text messaging. But I just I don't I don't know how to say thank you to to everyone. It's just been so nice to me. I just um, yeah, I just I've never known people like it. I've had such a difficult couple of years. Um, losing Isabel has got to be the hardest thing I've ever had to go through in my life. I've lost family members, but losing a child is just, it's like an, a constant agonizing pain in your heart that never goes away, but you just, you learn to not deal with it but just get by and just you take each day at a time and it's it's people like Faye that keep me going and you just don't realize you really don't um so thank you so so much i have absolutely loved opening this store and you got me some gorgeous things you didn't need to get me anything else but the um the clothing so I'm, you know i'm so grateful for those little bits in there as well and the card um i did actually send her a card as well and a couple of little bits um for the boys as well so yeah, I just um I just I just feel overwhelmed with it all. And, um anyway, I'm gonna get on with the try on because this video is gonna be really, really long and I don't wanna bore the hell out of you guys, especially if there's anyone new come over. Um I don't want you to think, oh Jesus Christ, she's dragging this out. But um I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna show you what they look like. Um I'm really paranoid about my body but who cares, you know? I think Faye has taught me that as well because she she just, I don't know, she makes you feel like, what the hell? What, why should I even care what other people think? And at the end of her video, she always says, never let any dickheads get you down. And I love that motto, I really do. But anyway, I'm babbling on again. I'm going to get changed and I will show you. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've got this stuff on and I'll, I'll pan back a bit and show you. 
in a moment. The necklace, beautiful, love it. So I think I forgot to tell you guys that um, I might have said it, but it was it was a, a maximum twenty pound to spend on an outfit at Boohoo, and I spent twenty one pound twenty nine. So I just went over a tiny little bit, um, but um, yeah. What the friggin' hell have these online clothing companies? It's actually, it's not all just online clothing companies. It's all bloody clothing companies. How have, all of a sudden, I do not fit in a 16? I am not an 18 and above. I'm not saying that that's bad or anything, but I'm not. I'm not over a size 16. I have got clothes upstairs from years ago before we started changing crazy sizes that are a 14 that still fit me. So what is going on? Let me show you what's going on with it. So let me pan back a bit with the top. So it's okay. Um, it's like a peplum top. Let me just pan you down. Yeah, it's like a peplum top. I'm not going to stand back any further, but yeah. So I've actually got my um, sports bar on, on underneath it because look at this. I mean, I've literally only just been able to fit my boobs in as well. This has got a bit of stretch in it, but I've got a massive, massive chest. So my chest is a 36F. So, yeah, um, I love the sleeves that are really tight up here. There's no stretch up here. Um, but if this fit me, I think it's, it's lovely. It goes with my dark hair. I think it actually does suit me, the pattern. So if this was like, say, like a normal stretchy top or like a button-up shirt or something, I think, I think it would look really nice because I do think this colour suits my skin tone. So, Faye has got the the colour, the floral, the style, all of that. It is not Faye's fault that it looks like um, I've put a 10-year-old's top on. But anyway, I'm going to pan back so you can see the jeans. Now, I can't do the, the zip up. I've managed to do the button. They are very tight because they've got no stretching. But they are really high-waisted. Look at that. So they are mega high waisted. Literally, there's my bra, bra strap there, and there's the waist. So it's like my belly button is like here. But I'm gonna go back. Um, you can't see my knickers because there's the you know there's the lining inside the jeans. But what the hell? They're a really good length though. Oh god, I'm falling over. Sorry. So have a really good length so if if these fit me they are actually perfect the length so i wouldn't have to roll them up i literally could wear them with i don't know sandals or trainers yeah they're not too bad the length but let me show you what the hell i mean this <laughs> When she was going on about the muff bit. This is crazy. I mean, it's like, it's got like these tucked in bits here. Oh my God, it's so funny. I'm not blaming Faye for this, guys, at all. I'm blaming Boohoo. They are a joke. But yeah, I can't, I cannot do the fly up. These jeans feel like I've tried to squeeze into a size 12. It's ridiculous. But, well, now I've put on a bit of weight, but what the hell? So, this is me. What do you think? Beautiful? So, yeah. I'm not sure what we're going to do if they don't fit. We might be able to do a return. I think we'll be able to do a return because I could just return it back to Boohoo and then it'd, go, it'd be credited back to Faye. So I'll probably just do that. 
think. Yeah, I'll probably just do that because I'd rather you get your money back, Faye, because this I can't wear. I can't wear this out of the house. I'm sorry. But also, let me just undo these a minute. Oh, relief. Look at that. Oh. But anyway, I'm just going to sit on my seat again because I forgot to read out the little letter, didn't I, in the card. So it says, hey, I also popped to the crystal shop on my way to post this. I wanted to get you one and the chap there said this crystal, which is green quartz, was perfect for love, friendship, prosperity and stress levels, etc. Honestly, mate, though, all the storms come... All the storms come good and you've got this. P.S. They had mini bath bombs, so I grabbed you some. Hope you don't get thrush. <laughs> so, if I get thrush, say, it's your bloody fault. No, I doubt I will. They smell quite natural anyway, so I don't think I've ever got thrush from bath bombs. I have from tights and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a bit of TMI. But anyway. Um, so. I don't even care that these don't fit me. I have had so much fun recording this this morning. And I've got chocolate to be after I get these clothes off me. Even though I don't fit in them. I do not care. I think I deserve some chocolate now. Because. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I do. I think Izzy would be like, yeah, you do, Mum. You've recorded this, so why not? So, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to wear this one here. Um, there's Rocky in the corner over there. He looks so cute. He looks so cute, don't you? I've actually got, I don't know if you can see in the background, but I've got my fluffy cardigan there. I bought that down just in case I got cold, which I'm not, I'm actually boiling now. And my black bra, just in case I needed, like, a normal bra to put on. But if I put that on, I wouldn't got this top on because that bra pushes me up and it, it I think it just makes me bloody bigger. So I didn't bother putting them on. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've obviously enjoyed doing it um so thank you so much for watching i've just remembered as well i forgot to say to you guys go over to faye's channel and watch what i've bought for faye what i've bought for her hopefully it will fit her hopefully i really really hope um it does but like i said i've enjoyed doing this video and it doesn't matter really, does it? It's all it's all about the the laughs, the fun. Um it's all about entertaining you guys. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave um Faye's details in the description box below. Go over and watch her video. I'm sure it will be hilarious. If you liked this one, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And please give me a comment below because I absolutely love chatting to all you guys on here. I reply all the time. And yeah, it's like a little bit of a texting thing, I think, between some of my subscribers. We like, you know, they want to upload a video, they put a comment on and then I reply and it's just like constant. So yeah. Please give me a comment and share my video. I always say, and I'll put it in the description box, please share my video, please share the love because sharing videos is sharing the love. Um, obviously, if you have not come over from Faye's channel, I'm going to put Faye's details in the description box below. Um, any other thing you want to find out, I'll put it in the description box. Um my instagram's on there it's sean bosh underscore rocky but it'll be in the description box um and yeah 
so thank you so much for watching thank you so much to Faye for doing this collaboration with me and thank you for all the stuff and i'll see you guys soon bye